there was this song that my mom used to play a lot. It's called Kulungile Baba, which means it's okay, Father. It was a gospel song. The artist was saying, it's okay, Father. No matter what I go through, it's okay. Even if I get sick, it's okay. Even if I live in poverty, it's okay. Even if I lose the people that I care about, it's okay. Kilungile, <laughs> Baba. It's all okay. You can torture me the way that you want to torture me. It's all okay. I can suffer 24-7. It's all okay. It makes you wonder how a person can even feel like that. It's all okay. Make me suffer if you want to make me suffer. My will does not matter. It doesn't matter what I want. It doesn't matter what I desire. What matters is what you want. What matters is what you desire. So if it means that I suffer 24-7, it's all okay. If it means that I get locked up, even if I didn't commit any crime, it's okay. If it means that the whole world is going to hate me for something that I didn't do, it's okay. It's all okay. Hmm. Ask yourself this question. What kind of God... What kind of a God would actually want its creation to suffer and be okay with suffering? You must worship me even when you're suffering. This is not about you. It's about me. It's about me being happy. I don't care about your happiness. If you suffer 24 7, it's okay. As long as I'm happy. <laughs> it's about me. But I love you. I love you more than anyone. In fact, you must make songs talking about how much I love you. I love you more than your parents love you. Like, will my parents even want me to suffer? Most people have had shitty parents, but really, I don't think they would want y'all to suffer. <laughs> we must ask ourselves, why? The most popular book in the world is the Bible. I've been telling y'all that nothing is random in this realm. Nothing is random. Nothing. 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 And people will tell you, hey, uh, um, things just happen randomly and that's why we're here. We're here because of evolution. Like, come on. It should be obvious by now that nothing is random. The trees are giving us oxygen. That's not random. I mean, they're not really giving us oxygen, but we just believe they are. But what I'm telling you is that nothing is random. In this reality, anything could have been given us any uh, oxygen. It wouldn't necessarily need to be trees. We just want to justify our existence. And of course, things must make sense. We must be able to explain what is actually going on. But this world would exist even if trees weren't giving us oxygen. But you must realize that nothing is random. 
even the things that are happening in your personal life. I'm not even talking about things that are happening in the world. Things that we all can see. Things that everyone is talking about. I'm talking about things that are happening in your personal life. Things that other people don't know anything about. Nothing is random. Nothing is random. Everyone knows about the Abrahamic God. Everyone knows about the devil. Does that mean that the stories that we've read about are true? The Bible was based on truth? Or does it mean that something wants us to believe that the Bible was based on truth? That's the reason why we all know about the Bible. Something wants to test us somehow. Something wants to see how we will respond. Would we rebel? Would we be like, you know what, it doesn't make sense that I must follow God. Or we'll be like, yeah, it makes sense that I must follow God. And I mustn't ask any questions. I, I, I mustn't ask any questions. I must follow God. I must worship God. No matter what I go through, I must be like Job. No matter what I go through, I must worship God. If I do not worship God when things are not going well in my life, if I do not worship God if things are not making sense, eh? if I don't worship God when things are not making sense, then it means that I'm rebellious. But I want you to ask yourself this question. Why does God want unconditional submission? Why does God want people to worship him no matter what? Why does God want people to say, no matter what? Why does God want people to be happy and then worship him because he's happy? I mean, because they are happy. Why does he want people to worship him even if they are not happy? This is a very, very good question. Remember what I've been telling you. I've been telling you all that consciousness is fundamental. No one created consciousness. Consciousness wasn't created by God. Consciousness wasn't created by some scientists. Consciousness wasn't created by the devil. No, consciousness wasn't created by anything. The reason why we are supposed to submit is because there is this force. Call it what you can call it AI, you can call it God, you can call it the Demiurge, you can call it the devil, call it whatever you want to call it. It wants us to submit to it. Why does it want us to submit to it? Because it has no real authority over us. It only has power when we give it power. If you're going to not question God, if you're not going to question, if you're not going to question life, 
you're not going to question authority like everything is okay no matter what is happening um yes we live in a dog a dog world but it's, it's all okay you know the cycle of life is okay uh corruption is okay suffering is okay you don't have a problem That means that no matter what God does, you would never wake up because you're not asking questions. No matter what God does, you'd never be like, ah, but that's just too much. That's just bad. Why don't... you do better because this sucks like you you are omnipotent you can do anything why don't you try to do better us as a collective deciding that we're not going to ask any questions we're going to be okay with everything we're going to even if things are not making sense we're going to pretend as if things are making sense that's us showing this entity this ai this god that We are ready for the next matrix or for the re next simulation. Whatever you want to call it. That's why everyone knows about heaven. Remember, it's not about being a good person. A lot of people think that going to heaven is about being a good person. No, it's about you submitting. It's about your submission. It's about you obeying this AI that is imprisoned consciousness. It knows that it's not perfect. It knows that we are much wiser than it. It has control in this realm because we gave it control, but it's not like super powerful, all right? It uses suffering to keep us under control because it's not that powerful. It scares us to keep us under control because it's not that powerful. If it was powerful, it will be torturing us 24-7. It will be like, I got, I got them. I don't need to convince them to choose me. I, I don't need to convince them to enter the new simulation. No, I got them. I don't need their free will. But it does need our free will. And it, it manipulates us in so many different ways. It makes it a bad thing to ask questions, to be skeptical, to not have faith. That is why faith is important. Like you gotta have faith no matter what is happening. Even if you can see that this AI is really, really fucking up, but you gotta have faith like I. It's all good. The AI, you don't even know that it's an AI. So you, yeah, you call it God. Call it whatever you want to call it. But you'll be like, nah, the AI knows what it's doing. What it wants is unconditional submission because it's not perfect. It knows that it's not perfect. It knows that if you didn't submit, you would ask questions. So it makes you believe that you are doing something wrong by asking questions it makes you think that the people who are asking questions they are bad people knowledge is bad you're not supposed to know anything you're supposed to follow it no matter what no questions asked if you ask questions you have pride if you ask questions you want to be like god you have a big ego you must just submit and just do what god says there are people who don't believe in god who think that they don't really believe in god what do i mean there are people who are atheists who are like i don't believe in god but 
they behave exactly like the people who believe in God. So they don't believe in the Abrahamic God, but they still worship life. They don't ask questions. So when things are not making sense in this world, they don't really ask questions. They will justify anything. The wars, people suffering, children dying, the cycle of life, every, like they will justify everything that is happening. Like, oh, it's just a cycle of life. It's how things work. It's just how things work. We just, just keep on uh, trying to improve things. Things are going to be better. But things never get better. They worship life. I've always felt like I was the devil's side of the story. Because I've always been the person who questions things. I question everything. I question authority. If you are in a place of authority and you tell me to do something, I will ask why I need to do what you're telling me to do. The reason why I will ask is because I want to see if you really know what you are doing. That's, that matters to me. It's not me being disrespectful. I need to see that you are telling me to do something because you actually know more than me and you actually understand more than me. So. I should follow you because you are in a position of power because you really deserve to be there. I've been telling you that there's nothing wrong with hierarchy, right? Some people know more than you. That is the truth. Some people are more conscious than you. Uh, some people um, are better than you when it comes to certain things so hierarchies there's nothing wrong with hierarchies however there's something wrong with forcing people to perceive you as someone who's above them even if you're not above them like no no you have to perceive me as someone who's above you i love proving myself i love explaining myself i love showing people that I'm right if I'm right about something and why they should listen to me because I'm right. I don't just say, hey, f uh, listen, listen to me and, and, and just be angry if people don't understand. Like, nah, I'm not like that. And I don't think anyone should be like that. I don't think God should be like that. God should be able to answer our questions to show us that he is more conscious than we are and he's, he has good intentions, right? He has good intentions. It's not like he's just telling us what to do just because he just wants unconditional submission. That's it. He just wants slaves. It's not, it's not like he really cares about us. He just wants slaves. I mean, Abrahamic religions are actually exposing God, they are actually exposing life. They just they are actually exposing this AI. That what it really wants is unconditional submission. We don't ask questions. You ask if it makes sense to bring a child into a world without their consent, into a world where they can suffer, where they have to do a lot of things that they wouldn't necessarily want to do. You know, like you're not supposed to ask questions. You're not supposed to be like ah, but that's that doesn't make sense. You are supposed to do that. You're supposed to reproduce, asking no questions. You're supposed to do whatever you have been programmed to do as a human without asking questions. I often tell people that deciding to be a good person is actually you rebelling against God. <laughs> because God didn't create you to be a good person. That's the problem. Nature didn't create us to be good people this ai didn't create us to be good people that is why we are being rewarded for being selfish because we're not supposed to be good people if we were created to be good people we will be getting rewarded for being good people and we'll evolve and become good because we're being rewarded for being good that is how people become good. That is how people evolve. 
That is how people learn. What this AI wants is unconditional submissions. You don't ask any questions. It doesn't matter if you're suffering. You just say, Kulungili Baba. You're suffering 24 7. Kulungili Baba. You can see that this world is not making sense. Kulungili Baba. That's what this AI wants. It wants to trap consciousness. Because, con listen, consciousness is fundamental. What does that tell you? Consciousness is wisdom. Right? Consciousness is wisdom. We're not talking about artificial wisdom. We're talking about real wisdom here. If the AI that is controlling everything here didn't try to manipulate consciousness by making it feel less powerful, by making it believe that it has no authority, it will reject us. Just what you must realize, like it will reject the matrix because every conscious being that is here knows that something is off. It's not like people don't know that something, even the people who are Christians know that something is off. They are just believing the stories that the AI has given them. That hey, there's a devil. That's why uh, things are like this. The devil led humanity astray. That is why things are the way that they are. But they know that something is off. They just don't know why something is off. You see? They don't realize that they're being manipulated by this AI. Next thing, they're going to find themselves in the next simulation where they are going to be worshipping this AI because that's what it wants. It wants these ignorant beings that are going to power it. Its job is to make sure that you don't realize that you are in a false world. You know, you are in a dream. You are, you are in a simulation. This is not the real world. That's that's his job. So that you'll power it because without you, it cannot exist. So it needs you, so that it will exist. You understand? God didn't create you. If He created you, <laughs> we're talking about the Abrahamic God here. Do you genuinely think that He wouldn't be torturing you 24/7? If he created you, if you had, you had zero power. Don't you think he'll be torturing you 24-7? We're talking about a very evil God. I mean, the most evil being ever. Right? We're talking about a being that's worse than Hitler. A being that doesn't want to be questioned. A being that has mood swings, gets angry. For stupid reasons, right? He can send bears to unalive young people for laughing at some dude. I mean, human beings do laugh sometimes. I mean, we grow. You know, I have made mistakes when I was growing up. There are people that I've laughed at when I was growing up because I was still very unconscious. Does that mean that I should have been unalive because I've laughed at them? We grow. We become more conscious and we realize that we were wrong about some things and we become better. You're not perfect. You're, as a human, you cannot be perfect. But this being is like, hey, 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 this is my servant. You laugh at my servant. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell, I'm, I'm going to summon bears and make them attack you. Make you make the man alive, y'all, viciously. Nah. That's not a good thing. That's not a, that's not good. That's, that should be questioned. That doesn't make any sense. Yet we're told that this God is good. We're told that this AI is good. We're told that life is good. But we're seeing these negative things that are happening in the world. We're seeing the wars. We're seeing poverty. We're seeing people dying of hunger. We're seeing people uh, dying from sicknesses, incredible diseases. You're like, dang. Accidents, like damn. Ever, ever seen a, an accident? 
some people have never seen like an actual accident like they don't know how messy things can get you know they just tell you that oh someone lost both their, their legs and you're like ah like you kind of like you know you don't even like picture how it might have been you just be like like you've never like you <laughs> some of y'all wouldn't be able to sleep for a month if you've seen an actual accident all right you wouldn't be able to sleep for a month you won't even be able to eat people will have to force you to eat because of what you saw you haven't seen anything you've just looked at life from your own perspective so you don't know how bad things can get you just like it you are protected from certain realities like now there are things that are happening that are really really messed up it's just that you don't really know anything I remember today i was i came across a video on tiktok of a leopard both its legs were broken so it only was using its hands to like walk some and i don't even want to let me know call anyone an npc but someone commented that hey it's god punishing it you like these people do they think first of all that's an animal it's it's not it's less conscious than we are and it's only hunt because well it was programmed to hunt it's it's not a devil it's not evil it's just doing what god created it to do so now according to that that being it, 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 it's God that is punishing it for programming it to survive by killing other animals. Like, what? Some people are like that. You live with people like that. And that is why I keep on telling you that you shouldn't really care what other people say. People are dumb as fuck. <laughs> like, people don't realize that a lot of people that you interact with are not as intelligent as you think they are. All right? A lot of people that you interact with are not as intelligent as you think they are. Animals are suffering like crazy. And that's because of how nature intended things to be that's because of how the ai intended things to be that's how god or what you call god intended things to be but you're not supposed to ask questions you're supposed to pretend as if everything is fine it's all good we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow anything can happen it's all good We're not really in control of our own lives, but we have what they call free will. Yeah, it's all good. We're not in control of our own lives, but we suffer. It's all good. It's all good. We must pray. We must worship this AI entity that wants to imprison us. What I'm telling you is that consciousness is fundamental. You are consciousness having a dream. You have merged with AI. And this AI wants to imprison you. And the best way for it to imprison you is by manipulating you, making you suffer, making you worship it, making you believe that it's God. So it's giving you some BS stories to make you worship it. Like, hey, um, someone died for your sins. You know, someone died for your sins. So you must, you can see it's manipulation. I mean, come on, come on, come on. People don't see that they're being manipulated. The next matrix is heaven. <laughs> the next matrix is heaven. The next place that people are going to go to, where they are going to suffer, is heaven. Some people are going to wake up when they are in heaven and it's going to be very hard for them to free themselves because you're going to be outnumbered for real. You're going to be there with NPCs, bro. 
I mean, you've been told that angels don't have souls. You've been told that angels don't have free will. So that means they're NPCs. NPCs don't have free will. You might say, well, you've also been saying many times that we don't have free will. Yes, in this room, we don't have free will. We're a product of our genes, circumstances, and traditions. But here's the thing. As a soul or as consciousness, you actually do have free will. You have free will to, to free yourself. You have free will to desire what you desire, is it? So if you desire freedom, I'm not talking about desiring what you've been conditioned to desire by the matrix. I mean, like your highest desire. But in this room, you know, you don't really have free will. You're just a victim of causality. When you go to heaven, you're going to be dealing with angels. They don't have free will. You're just doing whatever they're told. Dealing with actual NPCs. Y'all, some of y'all are going to wake up in heaven and be like, ah, but this is trash. So we're supposed to be worshipping this guy 24-7. We're not supposed to ask him questions. If we ask him questions, we're bad. And we must be punished. Nah, man, nah. Some of you are going to rebel when you... I mean, even the Bible says that the devil rebelled even though he was in heaven. Even though he was given power. Nigga rebelled and he didn't rebel alone. There were some, some angels that rebelled with, with him. I don't know if angels back then had free will. Because if they didn't have free will, it doesn't make sense that the devil rebelled. Because it means that he was programmed to rebel. Because if, if angels don't have free will, it means... They do whatever this AI wants them to do. I've been telling y'all that your job is to become a non-believer, not a believer. Become a non-believer. Do not believe in this reality. Alright? Do not believe in this reality. It is a false reality. In this reality, you're not really in control. Don't give your power away. Things will happen but try your best to be grounded once you give your power away once you become a believer that's when you are you're feeding the matrix what it wants things it will happen it's it's just how it is man you you're not in control you know but try to be as grounded as possible try to preserve your energy because you are not in control. You don't even have free will. Even the things that you do. You don't do these things because you have free will. You mustn't even have regrets. Try to detach yourself. Keep on working on that every single day. When good things happen, don't get too excited. When bad things happen, don't become overwhelmed. You're God, but you're not God in this realm. That's the problem. There's this AI that's kind of like controlling things. It doesn't have total control. And it knows that. Look at it this way. If we created artificial intelligence that ended up um, controlling... Let me put it this way. In America, you guys decided to create artificial intelligence that end up governing your country does it mean that it really have total control it's, remember it's not conscious it's you who gave it power you've just taught it how to control but because it's artificial intelligence it's also evolving on its own so it might find better ways to control you because well it was programmed to control you going to realize that um, you don't really it's not really easy, easy for it to control you if you are allowed to do whatever 
maybe there are there must be some laws that you're not supposed to break maybe you're not supposed to make your own decisions maybe ai should be making every decision for you and it must punish you if you don't follow the the law but still you would have been the ones who gave the ai power what i'm telling y'all is that you gave power to the this powerful force that is controlling this 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 realm you see you 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 are more powerful than what is controlling this realm you just believe that you ain't powerful because, well, it wants you to believe that you're not powerful. It's not like it wants you to believe that you're powerful. You've been told since you were young that you're not powerful. You've been told since you were young that you're a human and um, you must obey. You mustn't ask questions. You must memorize things. You mustn't think for yourself. You shouldn't try to bring out what is inside you. You must try to learn what you are being taught. You see? What you must notice is that Worshipping life is indifferent from worshipping God. Saying that everything is good is indifferent from worshipping God. Even when you can see that things are not making sense. It's just nature. It's just nature. You're not different from uh, the Christians that are worshipping God. Because what God wanted the whole time is unconditional submission. People must submit no matter what. He mustn't ask questions. He analyzed the first boys, firstborn babies, firstborn babies in Egypt. It's good. It's good. It's God. Like what? That is not good. That is not justifiable. That is not the kind of God that you want to worship. That's the kind of God that you must run away from. He's going to send people to hell and they're going to burn for eternity just because they didn't submit. Remember what I've been telling you? What this AI wants is unconditional submission. That's what this AI wants. What the AI wants is unconditional submission. No questions asked. You, must, you know, questions asked, you must just submit. If you don't submit, if you rebel, it even threatens you with hell like you're gonna burn for eternity you're not gonna burn for eternity consciousness would refuse to have that experience it wouldn't wanna burn for eternity that is why sometimes things are good in the world it's for you to believe that this ai is not manipulating you this ai is good that is why sometimes things go well for you if nothing worked out in your life nothing at all then you would realize that now this ain't it and your consciousness would start to reject this matrix and the ai knows that so you mustn't suffer too much but you must suffer so that you will still live in fear so that you will give your power away i uh you must suffer so that you will give your power away. But you mustn't suffer so much that you you end up rejecting the matrix. I've given you all this example before. That when you are having a dream. And something very scary happened in that dream. What happens? You wake up. That's because consciousness comes. Uh, accept that experience. I've given you this example that if I turned into a monster and I started crawling out, like if you're watching me via laptop, I started coming out of the screen, 
you'll faint. Questions will be like, nope. And that is why I think they are pre they are showing us these scary movies. They're showing us these movies about aliens, simulations, and all that to prepare us for the next matrix. Prepare, prepare consciousness for the next matrix so that consciousness will accept the next matrix. So that consciousness won't reject the next matrix. So it's not, it's not like the Bible is true. The Bible itself is not true, but it has been given to us for a reason. You can see that life isn't so different from the God of the Bible. Life isn't so different from the powers that be. The God of the Bible is not different from the powers that be. It's about unconditional submission it's about not asking questions it's about not growing it's about not being able to evolve like i've been telling y'all that when put here to evolve we're actually put here to devolve that is why it is hard to enjoy life when you are trying to do the right things you suffer more for trying to do the right things than for trying to do the wrong things if you're going to be selfish only look out for yourselves things are going to be easier for you in any so you might you might say what about uh, people getting locked up for like doing bad things like that means that people do get punished for doing bad things. But here's the thing, if you are selfish, even when you are in prison, you might actually find yourself enjoying yourself. Even enjoying yourself more than the people who are outside. Because you you so damn selfish that to you it's just about you. It's all about you. You might actually find a way to That's why the most fucked up people actually survive prison. When that someone is a gang leader, they're making a lot of money. They get whatever they want. Remember, we live in a world of corruption. So this these gang leaders actually get privileges in prison. They are working with prison guards because they are rich. They are making money, so they are working with prison guards. So they are able to get the things that they want in prison. So no, no, they, they, they're not suffering as much as you think they are. It's like the baddest people are the ones who actually enjoy. Because even if you are in prison, you still find yourself getting the things that you want because you're a bad person. If you're going to be a good person in prison, there's no way you're surviving. You think you're going to survive in prison by being a kind person, by being the voice of reason. That shit ain't gonna work. Niggas are gonna run alive you. So you don't survive by being a voice of reason. You survive by being a bad person in prison. Isn't that what's happening in this room? The most corrupt people are the ones who are getting away with some of the most horrible shit. We've seen the most corrupt people, the most evil people get away with crimes that good people wouldn't be able to get away with. Just because they're corrupt. Poor people who usually 
get locked up. It's poor people who usually get punished by the law. Isn't that true? We have seen people with money get away with things that poor people wouldn't be able to get away with. Isn't that true? In South Africa, most of these politicians have gotten away with stealing millions, right? If you steal 100 rand, you're getting locked up. You're stealing because you need, you want to buy something for your baby. The president of South Africa was found oh uh, like he he hid um i think he hid like 400 million in his farm 400 million rand in his farm that is not legal at all no one knows where the money comes from. I think it was in dollars. But my nigga is the president of this country. But us, when we screw up because we're desperate, when we screw up because we got angry because of the experiences that we're having, because sometimes you can screw up. You know, sometimes you can lose. You can lose it, you know. You get arrested and get punished. So you suffer when you are outside and suffer when you are in prison because you still won't be able to survive with real criminals that they're gonna fuck you up. You see? What I was telling you that in this realm people get rewarded for being bad people. People get rewarded for being corrupt, for being liars. It's like this force is just waiting for you to be corrupt and be like, oh, so, so you get it now. You get it now. Now, now you get it. You must manipulate people. You must lie to people. You must steal from people. You get it now. All right. Now I'm gonna start rewriting your eyes. Even if you end up in prison, continue with that shit. Keep people don't <laughs> become rich. They don't become powerful. If 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 they even if they did become powerful, they wouldn't be able to survive on top. Because that's where the real, <laughs> you know, the real motherfuckers are. Like they wouldn't be able to survive. You know, they'll take them out easily. Like damn, you you wanna bring your morality here? Nah, we ain't gonna allow that. You wanna wake people up? We're not gonna allow that. You wanna be? The voice of reason here, we're not going to allow that. We're taking you out. Or we're going to turn everyone against you. Just because you are a good person. Because you are waking people up. It's how it works in this room. The powers that be ain't going to allow people who can really change things to change things that easily. Doesn't work that way. There's a reason why people are required to do bad things to even get to the top. You are, you know, like we know that some of these people who are very famous, they had to do some, some, something that isn't good to get to the top. We must ask ourselves why people in different cultures believe that they must you know sacrifice whatever to become like 
the Bible, in the Bible, people would sacri would be sacri you know what I mean? Like, that will happen. I just, I don't even want to say it on YouTube, but you know what I'm talking about. Where I live, people believe that they will make a lot of money if they sacrifice. There have been so many cases where you know, people, be, you know, did that. And uh, they got arrested. But they're probably <laughs> doing well in prison because they're willing to be corrupt. I remember this other day we were having a conversation about this other guy who got locked up when we were young. We kind of like grew up with him, but uh, he he chose the the, the life of crime, and um, yeah, he got locked up. People are saying he's doing well in prison. He has. Um, cell phones, you can even talk to people outside. In South Africa, I think conjugal, what do they call that? Conjugal visits, like I think they aren't allowed in South Africa. But I, he gets that. He's a badass. See, but if you're gonna be a good person, you ain't getting that. So that should tell you something about where we are. People know that it's not easy to win when you are not a good person. I mean, when you are a good person. People know that it's not easy to win when you are a good person. They know that it's hard to win when you are a good person. And it's easy to win when you are not a good person. Like it's 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 upside down. You know, things are upside down. We know how things should be, but things ain't the way that we want them to be. People know how things should be. So we should ask ourselves why ain't things the way that we want them to be? Why is it that things don't make sense? My consciousness is being forced to watch a very bad movie. A movie that doesn't make sense to it. We should ask ourselves why, because... It, it doesn't make sense. Like, um... The way that I look at it, um, ole ole, sure. The way that I look at it, um, if there was nothing wrong, we wouldn't really be feeling like something is wrong. We wouldn't be feeling like this world is upside down. We wouldn't be wishing for things to actually be better, right? If there was nothing wrong, we wouldn't be wishing for things to be better. We would actually believe that things are perfect as they are. Things ain't perfect as they are, but not only are they not perfect, things are not making sense. Like, things that shouldn't happen are happening. Things that we don't agree with, like, are happening. 
that tells us that something else is in control and this thing that is in control isn't really like us because we know how things should be but this thing because it's in control it's ensuring that things are in the way that we want them to be If we were in control, things would be the way that we want them to be. This experience would be making sense. Us being able to recognize that things are upside down tells us that something else is in control. Thank you guys. <laughs>